Alright, tonight we're going to be making the ultimate steak dinner. Um, if you haven't made steaks, pan searing is the way to go. Using a nice cast iron pan. But we have some red wine, asparagus, some special uh, garlic rosemary potatoes, a couple fat ribeyes, they're New York strips. Uh, and I'm also going to make some cheese bread uh, from a previous video, so I probably won't highlight on that too much. But uh, so I just got to prep a little bit and uh, let you know what happens. Alright, so you, once you pick out your steaks, you're going to, on both sides, do a little cracked pepper um, and some kosher salt. That helps a lot, not too much, but a good amount on both sides. And you're going to let that end up sitting for about an hour uh, until the, uh, the meat is completely room temperature, and uh, that's the way you do it. So we're going to put those to the side. Alright, so now we're just kind of a little quick one on the bread here, uh, half a cup of milk, uh, half a stick of butter, bring that to a boil. Uh, you're going to be adding one cup of tapioca starch, uh, it kind of feels like uh, actually like cocaine from what I've been told. And uh, also this will be used at the end, it is parmesan cheese with a little bit of cheddar, about one cup total. An egg will be involved, uh, so we'll uh, uh, cupcake pan and I'll show you how those turn out but I do have a video if you're curious so it's a little more explanative or whatever the word would be all right all right next uh, second longest thing is gonna be the potatoes it's gonna be two pounds of red skin potatoes some garlic rosemary all fresh of course you're gonna be using a little butter a little milk uh, but I'm gonna prep it up and uh, and we'll go from there all right, so once you get the potatoes washed and trim off any of the little ugly spots, then you cut them up into some fairly large chunks. You don't want to get them too small or they get too much water when you cook. Uh, then you're going to have the fresh rosemary super fine and uh, a good amount of garlic, about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. Uh, garlic press is really good to get the uh, garlic flavors going around. Uh, but now I'm going to start cooking and uh, I have my little buns in the oven, about 20, 25 minutes depending on your oven. And, uh, all right. Soon we'll see some steaks. Oh, and the asparagus. Okay, so just as a summary, we got our steaks that are pretty much ready to go whenever. Uh, get everything set up. Potatoes fixins, the butter for the steaks. The potatoes are still boiling. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, you gotta break the ends off your asparagus. That way you don't have nasty uh, asparagus ends that are kind of hard to chew. You always just want to use the good parts. Um, we got our cast iron skillets. My roommate came and he is getting a steak too. So, uh, we'll see uh, when there's some action. Alright, so we're right about to do our steaks. Uh, the, the way that this works is you get the, the cast iron. Obviously, you should know what that is or else then you're already in trouble. Uh, never marinate your steaks because that's just wrong. Um, you're going to need to broil the steaks. So you want to get your broiler up there. Uh, it takes a little while to heat up, so you do want to kind of do that early. The oil you use, uh, you might you can use a little oil, uh, olive oil, on the steaks themselves. But in the pan, you're going to use peanut oil. Uh, peanut oil has the highest smoke point. That way, you can get them uh, searing the way you want. So that is really what you need to do. So we're going to get the steaks in there in a second. We're going to be doing this now. Uh, we're going to get the steaks in here. As you can see, there's some smoke coming off. That means the smoke point is hit. That's what you want. So in the little pan, I'm going to do my big ribeye. In the bigger pan, I'm going to do the two smaller ones. We're going to be doing about 45, 50 seconds on each side. Um, you flip it over, wait, and you don't move it. You just got to let it sit. Uh, once you get all that done, after the second 50 seconds, you throw it into the broiler, the top, top, uh, top thing here. Um, and you're going to be doing about a minute and 45 seconds per side. You can add time to that if you want it more well done. You can take a little bit off. This is going to be a right under medium, uh, medium rare more or less. Um, so here we go. Mosaic is assembled. Get that oil nice and around in there. So yeah, 45 seconds like this. Um, we're going to keep the camera on until this is done. Um, let's see here, start. Okay, I got another stopwatch. So we're gonna do 40 seconds, because I think I forgot to start it. So we're gonna wait. The sizzling is awesome. You can even turn the, the mouth to heat up a little bit. I'll just get burned myself. Just to keep it up, because these cast iron skillets do heat, but not very fast. So we're gonna keep going. 20 seconds. 30 seconds. 20 more. Wow. 
about 10 more. Five more. Alright, so we're gonna do the little one first. Alright. As you can see, there's a beautiful brown. Alright, so we're gonna do this another 50 seconds. I'll probably throw the lower ones in uh, a little bit thinner. In fact, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm going to start actually with the uh, prayer. I'm going to turn this up. Just tell it to get that butter melt. So they do take about five to six minutes. And the potatoes are cooking. They're good. They'll be done right on time. Get the time everything together. And 30 seconds. We've got 20 more to go. Bite is quite thick. That is okay. Ten more seconds. You want to make it use your glove because you can burn yourself real bad. All right, so two minutes per side or less. So One forty-five actually. Okay, so we're gonna flip the steaks. I'm gonna do the littler one. Oh my god, let's turn it on fire. Okay, hold on. So let's flip these over. Then they go right back in for another minute and a half or so. Oh, that is all flavor right there, that darkness, that is good. Now these pans are ridiculously hot, and so watch yourself, you might burn yourself like I just did. So go ahead. All right, once the steaks are out, uh, we're gonna let them sit for seven minutes, uh, six minutes or seven minutes-ish, so you wanna cover them with some aluminum foil. That way it keeps in a lot of the moisture. This is critical, if you don't do this, you're messing up. Just like if you use a marinade. And uh, I'm gonna get the potatoes set up, and we got five minutes, six minutes to go on these. All right, so I just threw the butter in, I drained the potatoes, and we're gonna add a little bit of milk and then start mashing it up. About two tablespoons of milk, a little bit more, but that'll work out. And also, you wanna put in the rosemary and the garlic at this time. I forgot, the I forgot the butter on the steaks because they burned my hand, and I'll show you it later. Okay, and I'm gonna mash it up, and add those are our potatoes. All right, so everything's ready. It's been the six minutes. Um, we got our cheese bun bread things here, the Brazilian cheese bread. Uh, we got our piping hot uh, potatoes. They're delicious. Uh, we got our asparagus. We got our beautiful ribeye with a piece of butter melted on top. And we have our New York strips. The butter kind of melted off. Um, we're going to plate this up and uh, give you a little snapshot, and that is about it. All right, so uh, throughout this video, this is what we ended up with. We have uh, my big fat uh, juicy ribeye, the fixins. We got a couple little uh, New York strips, not that little, but uh, definitely smaller than mine. And so that's cool. But um, serve that with some red wine, and uh, it's a definite panty dropper. All right, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I got to tend to my wounds from the fireball I shot out of my hand uh, in the oven because I burned myself pretty bad. But uh, enjoy your meal, and uh, you should definitely make this uh, for your girlfriend, or if you're a girl, make it for your boyfriend. All right.